Hi there, welcome to my video on the Thinkific Empire theme um, ideal landing page. So in this video, I'm gonna cover uh, an example of building a great uh, landing page and what those components are. In my previous video, uh, you have seen that I have demonstrated how to um, add different components to your landing page. And so this video is strictly going to cover an example of a landing page that I've created in this demo um, that you can replicate for yourself. So remember that all the different sections that you see here in my landing page, uh, this banner, this video, these product sections, social proof sections, the countdown timer, instructors, frequently asked questions, upsells, all of this is um, considered sections and or containers. And so you can easily move things around to your liking and based on what you think is best uh, for your users and your customers. So let's begin. Uh, so as you can tell, I think uh, this is a great sort of sample that you can model for your landing page for your business. Um, I think the most important thing was when someone lands on your page is to have some kind of visual reference. And so this is where the banner image is really key. You, This is a stock banner image, but feel free to replace it. And also remember that when you replace it, that the color scheme uh, really needs to match the rest of the layout. And uh, that also goes with the text. The color should really blend well. So as you can see, the white here doesn't clash too much with this light, light brown, light to gray in the background. And the idea is um, the more you sort of look into um, complementing colors and blending them in a way that's really uniform and consistent, it really gives a very quality and professional look to your business. Uh, the other component that I've added that hasn't been in my previous videos that I think is really essential to a landing page is a video. If you think about it, a video a video is everywhere now. Video is really what captures people's eye and really, you know, think about YouTube. It's uh, such a platform for so many videos. And this could be really a great way to give an introduction to your business and to your brand. And it's a great way for people to have some kind of um, media um, when they land on your page because text and visual is great but i think the video really gives an added bonus an added enhancement uh, the other thing is once uh, this is um, added then that's where i would consider adding the products section this is important because your business is a business uh, you really want to highlight and showcase the products that you have to offer here i've just created two sample products for demo purposes. And this is just to showcase to people who are on my page what current offerings that I have. And so I think this is really important to sort of set up uh, your business and your brand that way by showing what you're teaching and showing what you're an expert in. And then I think also afterwards is really key to add social proof and testimonials. Now Thinkific gives you a few options. You can do it in this way by adding the text, but you can also, they give you a choice for social proof to add the, um, as seen in, um, where is it? Um, you can add the logos. And I think this is really cool because sometimes if you want to show that you've been featured in Forbes, um, some other like PC Magazine or Bloomberg Magazine, I think these sort of logos sort of give um, social proof um, for your business a much more added bonus versus text because those are publications that are widely known and widely respected. So you can definitely play around with social proof uh, from testimonials to logos and or reviews. So that would be reviews of people who have bought your course and want to give you some really rave reviews so that you can share with others. Um, ultimately, though, I do think uh, this format with the testimonials really works well because it's it's just it's visible, it's straight to the point, it's simple, it's not too long, so it's easy enough um, and doesn't take a lot of time to read. Uh, the other thing I added to my landing page, which I think is really, really crucial and highly recommended, is the countdown timer. Uh, this countdown timer really uh, conveys urgency, and I definitely recommend it if you're in the middle of a launch to really add this countdown timer. 
Now, remember, if you are not in lunch and you do not uh, want to have this timer, it's easy enough to delete it by clicking on delete section. So just remember that you always have the option to customize these sections as well. And then I've added the kind of instructor section here. This is a great uh, place for you to have your bio uh, and sort of tell people sort of about your expertise and background and how you became uh, uh, an expert at what this topic would be. And then I think uh, two other key things um, that I've added to this landing page sample that you might want to replicate for yours is it FAQs. A lot of times buyers are very skeptical and they have a lot of resistance to purchasing. And so frequently asked questions really addresses those questions such as, you know, uh, is this course being taught live? Will there be coaching? How do I access the materials? Do I get lifetime access? Those are very common questions that would be good to address here so that um, it saves you the time from buyers having to send in those questions via email. Especially if it's a question that many people might have. It also gives you that bonus and added advantage. And then finally, uh, the upsell. Uh, this is really important and I will talk about this in another video, but that um, it's really a key advantage for you to feature uh, upsells because that's the only way you will grow your business is through um, recommending additional products and uh, selling additional products to your customers. Um, because if customers are only buying one product, uh, that's great, but you really want to um, get your customers uh, into your business and into your school as part of a long-term plan rather than just a one-off product strategy. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions or answers. Thanks again.